Now to Dearborn's new fight to curb dangerous drivers. We're talking about from speeding to tra traffic deaths. The city has become a hot spot for traffic related incidents. A six year old little girl named Batul Alpha Dawi is just one tragic example. She was killed by a hit and run driver as she was crossing the street. Last year alone, Dearborn police issued close to 2,800 speeding tickets. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid joins us with an initiative starting today to make the streets safer. Residents asked for it, and here we have Dearborn's finest pulling out all the stops to put an end to reckless driving. I wrote you for impeding traffic. There's no points to that ticket. It's just a fine. Officer Dan Bartok and others rolling out phase two of the city's latest traffic safety campaign. The reason why we're out here today is we've received numerous complaints from our residents. After a series of road fatalities last year, Dearborn's new mayor, Abdullah Hamoud, and new police chief, Issa Shaheen, have made road safety a priority ever since they took office just over two months ago. Today's March 1st, and you're going to see a heightened increase in traffic enforcement in the streets of Dearborn, uh, beginning today and throughout the rest of the summer, at the very least. And to lead by example, the chief himself took on patrolling duties on Monroe and Outer Drive, one of the hot spots for speedsters. What I really hope, for us is that the residents and people that travel through our city are mindful of that enforcement and hopefully it modifies some of their driving uh, behavior because the reality is the last thing that we want to do is write tickets to people. Two weeks ago on 7 Action News, you saw me go on a ride along with the newly launched traffic unit and now the chief is taking a step further. That's four officers and a supervisor. I'm talking about the entire police department. 184 officers are going to be out there at various times throughout the day conducting traffic enforcement activities. As the traffic stop continued, Donna Cantor, a lifelong resident of Dearborn, was really pleased with the latest road safety initiative. How dangerous are these roads here in your neighborhood? Oh, very dangerous, very dangerous. We've had terrible accidents where they've gone right up into my neighbor's second door house into her backyard. I mean, um, one week, there were three accidents just on this corner. Have you seen police presence? Yes, I have. I have noticed that there are more police out. I'm glad to see that. We cannot do this job alone. It takes a community to be the police, and we work hand in hand with our community. As for future plans, the chief says the police department and the city plan to roll out educational campaigns across schools, as well as study traffic patterns to make roads safer. Reporting from Dearborn, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.